Hey, it's Heather Miche with a little bit of a scary task to do because I haven't done this before with my mason bees and that is after having stored them with all of the full nesting tubes over winter this is the big reveal because it's starting to get a little warm for them to emerge and getting ready so hopefully those nesting tubes are going to be still full of mud and larvae. So let's get started and see what is revealed. So for storage, I've just had this old plastic, kind of heavy plastic woven bag that I found on one of my hikes and keeping it waterproof of course keeping it in the woodshed where it's nice and dry over winter so let's let's see what happens here's the first one okay there's definitely cells still full i wrapped them really tightly so there weren't any buggers getting in there to eat or crave any of what's in the cells. Yay! Yay! There's just, and those two that are empty there, those may have been empty when the houses went in. I'm really excited. We're going to have about five consecutive days of, no, oh, this one doesn't look so good. I don't know who may have gotten in there, but we've got two full cells. That's great. Yeah, I just want to make sure and have them, the houses up and out so that the bees can emerge when they're ready. As I started to say, there's like five days in a row that we have almost 70 degrees before us. So. Don't want them to get too hot and yay. That one's looking good. So I'm pretty pleased. And you may ask, why did I store them, quote unquote, in a bag over winter? And as I talk about in one of my other videos, one year after all of the nest box tunnels were full of larvae and mudded over there were birds namely red shafted flicker who came and started digging them out <laughs> to get to the larvae for food so that's why i tried this experiment and i'm pretty darn pleased so Happy Mason Bee helping. Do what you can, people. Even if you do one step, whether it's making sure to have some non-chemical laced hummingbird nectar out that you make. Very easy. I'll link that in the description of this video today how to make your own hummingbird nectar but that even that one thing so you're not buying commercial colored nectar therefore poisoning the hummingbirds great pollinators that they are that's a great step and look for other steps too that are in various videos under my gardening and homesteading playlist Thank you for watching. Thank you for what steps you're taking to protect our pollinators and encourage their livelihood and providing for their goodness so that their goodness blesses us. Like by helping provide food for us to eat. Take care. Hit subscribe to learn more sustainable living tips here on my channel. Share it, like this video and others, and thanks again for watching. Be well.